te presentamos una nueva locura de Telepizza, porque hay que estar loco para ofrecerte una pizza mediana por solo 4,95. Aprovechate de los martes locos. Telepizza, el secreto está en la masa. No, I think Ira Mendy will be okay. We've had to, he, he had a little bit of an injury uh, before the game against Bilbao, Bilbao, and I had to, uh, we had to be careful with the training, but he played the game, and also after we've had to look after him with his injury a little bit. So he trained yesterday, and uh, I hope and expect him to be okay. I think they are they are behind Aramendi. I think that uh, Esteban had an injury also, which he, he got in the game at Granada. He's he has done some training like Markel Bagara. They've done a little bit of training. I'm, I have to see today if they're fully fit, and I'm I'm not sure if they're if they're fully fit to play yet or ready. Carlos Martinez is improving, but Carlos Martinez has not played a game for four months now, uh, since May, June, July, August, September, October now. Carlos Martinez hasn't played a game. No friendly game, no practice match. So we have to try and get Carlos Martinez some, some match practice before we bring him back. Joseba has, has done a little bit of training this week, so I think Joseba is getting ready. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll be ready for this weekend. I do, yeah. We have to keep improving. Every game we have to show improvement uh, in all aspects. And this is what I'll be asking the players. I'll be asking the players to keep, keep it going. Uh, keep improving. Keep picking up points as we go along. Uh, and hopefully, as the season progresses, we will get better and better. But I've seen some good things. I think uh, the game against the uh, Athletic was a, a different type of game. For one of the first times, we showed that physically we could compete. You no, know, we we stood up to the challenge. But there's other aspects of the game we need to improve on as well. Both. I do. I do think that some football clubs have, you know, a good good record against clubs, and you cannot believe that that is the reason. But I've seen it in many in my in my career. You know, sometimes there are some teams you you have have a little bit of hold on, but there's no there's no guarantee that is the case. But we have had a good record against Malaga. We have to try and keep it going. We played well there last year. Uh, I hope we can we can play well again. Well, both we have to make sure that we are uh, strong. We, we don't want, because if we concede goals, it sounds as if it would be hard to score goals. But we also have to try and score a goal, which means that then we, you know, we, are, we are quite strong defensively as well. But we have to try and score goals. You have to, in all the games, you have to have a plan to attack. <coughs> but when the opposition have their ball, you have to have a plan to make sure that we all defend as well. And uh, we will hopefully be ready in both, with the ball and without the ball. I think Malaga have had some tough games at the start of the season. But I hope I hope it continues. I hope they continue scoring no goals. Uh, but we have to go there and, and score some goals to win the game. No, the next match is always always very important. All the games are important. We have to try and keep keep improving and keep progressing. I think there's been signs that we're getting better. I think we're getting some players back into good form. Uh, defensively, I think we've had some very, very good performances. We now need to take that into our attacking play. We've seen some signs where against Granada we scored three goals, maybe we could have scored more goals. So we need to try and show that more often. And we're working to try and improve that all the time. But all the games are important and it would be good to go into the next break with a good victory. I think there's less expectation when you play the big teams. I think people don't expect uh, such good performances or such good results. I think the expectation rises when you're expected to, to win. We have that here uh, in some of the games at home. And that's when you have to stand up and play and, and uh, show another side to your game. But, but I think against the, the big teams, you know, you can gain confidence from your performance. I think Granada would have gained confidence from the performance. Uh, 
I would expect uh, Malaga, who had a good result, to gain confidence from their performance. I hope it doesn't it doesn't show in their performance against us. Well, I, I only heard the news when I arrived in today uh, from Luis told me, and I think it's very good news. I'm really pleased for for Inigo. I think he's I think he's improved. I think he's got better. I see uh, more concentration, uh, more responsibility for the team. I see someone with a determination to try and improve. I see he's training every day and he's very focused. But he still, he has, still has to make big improvements and he's young for a central defender. But I'm really pleased for him. And I, when I came to the club, I, I said to him, I says, all the central defenders who work for me go on to be international players. Don't let me down. And uh, he's gone on to be called up. Now he has to do the next bit and keep improving, keep getting better. Well, our plans is to train. My plan always in international is to, to train the players and then give the players time off in the middle. They, they also need recovery and they also need some time away. But the, uh, if we could have a, a practice match or a friendly game, I think it would be, it would be good. If I don't get a, a friendly match, uh, like, last, like in the last tra uh, international break, we'd probably play a game amongst, amongst the team uh, to try and get Carlos Martinez, Joseba, uh, some players, some match practice, because it's not too long before the cup games start also. So we're trying to get the players a little bit more uh, uh, ready for that. But also, I'm looking forward to taking the players next week out to out into the the village. I would I would say, uh, and letting the people see the players train as well next week. So hopefully, it's something which uh, the club's done in many years. It's important they have a, a good connection with the supporters. So I think, it's a, I think it's a great idea which the club have got. And uh, we'll take the players out next week and do some training away from the training ground.